Aha! And welcome to the first episode of A Pirate Gringo in Sao Paulo. You may wonder why I'm talking like this, but I've changed my name to Captain Nick Savage. Why? Because I found the coolest thing on earth the other week. This is my pirate pants. <laughs> See, they come with... Oop, that's just my belly. Rope. Rope. For drawstrings. And they're some kind of really nice cotton material. And they're really pirate-like. <laughs> Alright, enough of me yelling like a pirate. Um, but yeah, how cool is that? I found genuinely legit pirate pants. And I found them in the Zara store for half price. And they were the last pair there. Well, they were the only pair, probably. And they were perfectly my size. So that made me a very happy, very, very happy pirate. I'm going to put you somewhere else today. I'm going to balance you on my coffee cup. How's that? Nope. Too much chest. Huh? Look at me performing. Oh, my light in the background. That looks cool, doesn't it? Why is it on? Yeah, sure, because I'm wasting electricity. Um... Don't tell Dad. So, yes, segueing directly from pirate pants to why the hell did I buy pirate pants, apart from the fact that they are freaking awesome. Um, I finally arranged all of my uh, travelling plans. Finally got everything sorted. I know I was meant to do this weeks ago. Um, but who cares? It's all done. It's good. Um... So, what are they, you might be asking. Nikolai, you're talking so much about these travelling plans. Why don't you actually tell us what you're going to do? Um, so, maybe, maybe I will. Um, this is my last week here in Sao Paulo, last week in the hospital. Uh, this, this Sunday morning at um, 6.30 in the morning. 7.30 in the morning, I think. I should really get a handle on that. Um, I'm flying out to Rio. Yes, yes, Rio. Yes, why not? Why the hell not? I'm going straight from here to Rio, and I'm taking a plane. And I am staying in Ipanema, which should be wild. I found a cool little backpack is there. It's so cheap. So I'm staying there for, uh, for two nights, and essentially... Two and a half days, I think. I arranged my flight. I really got to get a handle on my flights and times and things. Um, so, flying into, flying into Rio, um, going to the backpackers in Ipanema, and um, I haven't booked any, but I'm going to do some. Probably going to do some guided tours around. Go see, um, you know, o Cristo Redentor and Powder Suka. Go to the beach. If I've got time, I'd love to go hang gliding, but we'll see how much that is and see if there's some time, because apparently it's one of the best places on earth to do that. And why not do cool, adventurous things while I'm there? Then after Rio, I'm flying to a place called Manaus. And Manaus is a city on the banks of the Amazon River in the middle of the Amazon forest. It's something like a... I think it's like a six-hour flight from Rio, uh, north and west... Uh, that should be a lot of fun. Hopefully the weather's nice as I fly in because apparently it's pretty pretty wild to see. It's just like, you know, forest as far as you can see, which would be cool. Maybe I'll grab some photos of that. But yeah, I'm, sub I'm spending a total of five nights, five nights, five days, five nights in the Amazon, of which I'm actually spending three in the forest, three, day three days, two nights in the forest. Um, which should be wild. So I arrive, arrive into Manaus and then spend one night there just to sort of settle. And then I'm going with a tour guide 200, uh, 200 kilometres upriver into the, into the jungle where there's a lodge and you spend a night in the lodge and then you go off for a trek and you just walk for a solid day, uh, see some stuff and do whatever. And uh, then you literally get given a hammock and you you camp in the Amazon. So that's going to be a wicked amount of fun. Um, but I figured one night was enough because I really am not the camping kind. And, um, yeah, I just... I figured 24 hours without a bar I can survive. 
And I got pirate pants. That's why I got the pirate pants. I got the pirate pants because I'm going into the jungle. And I mean, apparently, like here, 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 the weather's quite fine. Actually, today's a beautiful day. That's why I've arranged the camera like this because at least I can look out the window and entertain myself because it's nice and sunny. Um, but up north, it's really, really, really hot and humid and full of mosquitoes because it's in the jungle. So you have to wear, you have to be covered. You know, just like kind of, you could just probably just like in Africa. You've got, sort of got to, you've got to be covered, but you've got to have like nice, loose, breathable clothing. Otherwise, you just boil to death. Become you just yeah die. Uh, I'm not focused today. That's okay. Um, yeah, so that's my cool story about me justifying buying a pair of pirate pants. Uh, when I found them, apart from the fact that they're really cool. And then after, so then I come back from the jungle, I've got a couple of nights left in Manaus. Uh, everyone's saying, everyone here is saying that it's a really boring place and I'm going to hate it. But, you know, I don't know there's things to do. Um, uh, what's something else that's... Oh, apparently going out at night, um, going out in a boat. You can go and see crocodiles and alligators and stuff. Uh, if I've got time, if that's cool, I'll, I'll go and do that. But even the, 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 there's stuff to see around the city. There's some historical stuff, historical port kind of thing, and historical uh, theater, architecture, and stuff like that. So I'm sure I'll be able to, you know, fill my days. It's not going to be a problem. And then after that, I fly straight out of Manaus and I go into a place called Recife. It's uh, on the coast, and. Ideally, I was I was meant to be there for Carnival, but unfortunately, the the official starting date of Carnival is the seventeenth, which is the day I leave. Kind of stupid, but apparently in Recife, they're probably they're, they're probably celebrating Carnival now. Is is what I've been told. It's just sort of is this two month long fest there. Um, so I, do, I really don't think I'll be bored. And there's some beautiful beaches about an hour. It's like it's a cool place just to to do day trip out to go see some other things like beach. Even though I, everyone everyone keeps saying, oh, you've got to go see the beaches here, and I'm really not that enthused because, you know, the Gold Coast has the, some of the best beaches, and you know, or go to Airly Beach or go to the Sunshine Coast. <laughs> it's it's kind, just kind of it's not really something that I'm super, super motivated to go and do is see the beaches here. And I'm going to Ipanema. There's going to be beach enough, surely, for those couple of days. Uh, that's my travelling plans in a nutshell. Basically. And uh, what else have I been doing over the past uh, two weeks? Because I was too lazy to make a, a blog uh, a vlog last week. Actually, I was too busy. I was doing... So busy. Um, uh, it was raining epically. I've, I've got a little short clip of me standing outside. I was going to the movies and I got ambushed by this rain, and it was literally it was torrential, and the road was flooded. It, I'll, I'll, I'll tack it in here. You can just see it was absolutely ridiculous. It was really crazy. Um, it's kind of the way that's the way it is here with the weather. It's it's so weird. It'll just it'll pour. It'll literally dump down water, but for like twenty minutes. So I waited out there for a little while, and then it just sort of went away, and it was all good. Um, it's either that, or it's going to drizzle all day, and just sort of have this like London esque drizzle, which is really funny. Um, what else? Then the other, anything else I did? Uh, just. We're in a bars, normal kind of stuff. There was a barbecue for the residents leaving. A couple of Sundays ago, which was wicked. Uh, I think a couple of photos of me ended up on Facebook. It was pretty cool. It was just a really nice uh, Sunday afternoon sesh. Um, and off oh, my Australia Day. Yes, my Australia Day was totally random. I celebrated Australia Day here the same time you guys in Australia would have been celebrating. I didn't celebrate it on the, the 26th here. Um, because I was working and nothing was going on. But anyway, I was home. I had been, I'd actually been to surgery all day, and I randomly came out of, this, of surgery and um, had all these missed calls, and I called these people back, and they said, yeah, come around, we're having a barbecue and playing PlayStation. I said, sweet. So I booked it out into the city and um, went to this dude's apartment. There's a couple of photos on Facebook once again. Um, so cool. Uh, it was completely, completely unplanned. These guys didn't know it was Australia Day. 
and anything like that. They just, um, yeah, randomly decided to cook barbecue pork ribs and drink a whole lot of the leftover beer because we had a leftover keg from the party on, on Sunday and play PlayStation all night, which was sick. It was really, really wicked. I mean, it's not, not an Australia day in Australia, but, you know, it was, it was really good for, for out here because, like I said, I haven't met any foreign people and I don't... There's not really too many places where foreigners hang out, so there definitely wasn't going to be a place celebrating Australia Day in the city. Um, so that was really good. Otherwise, uh, just uh, just some some hospital stuff to catch you guys up. I know I don't talk about the hospital a lot. Uh, you know, I don't know. You don't really want to hear about that. It's kind of boring. But I am going. I am seeing a lot. Um, so I spent, I've spent two days in orthopedic surgery now, uh, which is was wild. Really, really cool experience. Um, yeah, I've seen it. Saw a couple of ACL repairs, which is something I've never seen before. Um, rack, I feel sorry for you. It's actually it's really not a lot of fun. But uh, I was really lucky to see there was there's a new technique that's been sort of trialed and being used here, and I was there to watch the first ever um, you know performance of this surgery, which was really really cool. Um, all of my kidney transplants have been cancelled up until now, except I got in my I have one definitely confirmed for tomorrow, so I'm finally going to get to go and see that tomorrow afternoon. Um, so really looking forward to that. That should be really cool. And yeah, I've had some really hectic patients as well. This uh, this this one one crazy one from the last week is this guy who had uh, uh, a ruptured aortic aneurysm. It was it was huge. It was in the aortic arch and just it popped and and, and like like they identified it. By the time they'd identified it, it was it was popped. It was popped on the CT, and he was rushed into surgery. And he had all sorts of crazy complications. Um, but yeah, that's been my fun. I have I've seen I've seen I've been seeing patients and I've been doing things. Um, yes, that's just that's that's just my little taste of to taste of hospital for you. I know you don't really want to. No one really wants to just hear about that kind of stuff. But um, oh, the other thing, I don't know. I've, I, I guess I've told some of you about this uh, poor seventeen-year-old kid who um, had a skateboarding accident, had some crazy head trauma. Um, he spent, I think, thirteen days in a sort of induced coma with um, hypothermia. Um, crazy, crazy, crazy. None of the doctors had ever seen like a patient that been induced for so long and had this kind of treatment for so long but he, he's actually gotten better and he's finally left the ICU and he's gone to the step down unit so I was really really happy about that it was a really really nice ending to that case as far as I know I don't know what's going to happen to him from now on I won't see him again but um, yeah, that was a really really nice surprise I had heard about that this morning I came into the ICU and I said and I was like, oh, looking for, you know, this, this point of normalcy for me. I always go and check on this patient. And um, he was gone. And I was like, what's happened? And he was like, yeah, over the weekend got shifted upstairs. So that was really, really nice, really happy. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. That's good enough for now. I hope you guys are well. Um, I don't think... Yes, this is going to be my last blog from, from Sao Paulo. Sad. Um... So next time I see you, I will be most likely from the backpackers in Ipanema. I don't think it's going to be very safe to sit on the beach with my iPhone out in front of me, Caprinia in hand, uh, taking a video of myself. It will definitely get stolen. So, yeah, I'll catch you in Ipanema.